Nick Kukoc and the seniors honored before the final home game of the regular season. They get set to face off against Jordan Roberts and the Wheaton College Thunder in the 64th battle for the Little Brass Bell. Roberts working the air in the first quarter as he hits Mark Hibben for 11 yards and a Thunder first down. Then Roberts finds Morgan Cook to move the chains. In the red zone, Roberts will call his own number looking for the end zone, but Josh Mitchell denies the rushing touchdown. That wouldn't stop Roberts from not letting this drive go to waste as he hits Steven Seitz in the flat, and the Thunder jump out to a 7-0 lead. In the second quarter, the Thunder are threatening again, but the Cardinals jump the route and the ball bounces into the hands of Joey Michaels. He returned one to the house last week against Illinois Wesleyan, but he's finally run out of bounds at the Wheaton 33. That led to Spencer Stanek showing his mobility on the option keeper as he sprints for the pylon, but he's knocked out at the three yard line. But have no fear, here comes Nick Kukoc taking the pitch from Jordan Tassio. His one yard score would even things up at seven. The Thunder respond with five and a half left in the half as Roberts looking long and going long. Cook hauls in the 61 yard touchdown grab to put Wheaton back in front before halftime. Roberts continues to pick apart the Cardinal D in the third quarter as he hits Ben Leong for the 12-yard gain over the middle. Then he shows good pocket presence before firing one to Cook who puts the Thunder back in the red zone. Roberts would cap off this drive himself, scampering six yards to the score and Wheaton in control up 21-7. Central, Cardinals make a trip to the red zone themselves, but as Stanek fires to Peter Sorensen, the ball pops out and they call it a catch and fumble, and the Thunder ruin a scoring chance. And the Thunder coaching staff figure if it's not broke, don't fix it, as Roberts hits Cook for a 19-yard gain. Then Roberts fires over the middle, and again it's hauled in by Cook for another 13 yards. Now facing a fourth down, the Thunder pulling out all the tricks as Peter Jarrett takes the direct snap, and he plows his way to a first down. Roberts hurting the Cardinals with his legs as much as his arm in this one, as he is patient behind his blockers before diving his way to his second rushing touchdown and a 28-7 Thunder lead. Playing from behind in the fourth quarter, the Cardinals going for it all as Stanek throws a beauty to Haleano Fuentes, and the 47-yard strike makes it 28-14. Same score with six minutes to go in the game as Stanek finds Jeff Stolzenberg for a 20-yard gain. Then Stanek sees an opening and takes advantage going 16 yards for the Cardinal first down. But two plays later, Stanek tries to step up in the pocket and Jared Todd forces the fumble. It's picked up by Adam Dansdill and there's nothing but green in front of him. He returns it 72 yards for the score to secure the victory and the Thunder hand the Cardinals their first conference loss since 2009 with a 35-21 win. It was hard, man. I mean, anytime you have a lot of turnovers, you're not going to win the game. So, I mean, it, there's just no words to describe how, the, how I feel right now. They shut our run game down, and we've never really had a team do that. And uh, it, it was a big, devastating blow. Like, we couldn't get around it, and we needed to get around it, but it was tough. They had a good game plan going in. I mean, they ran a lot of crossers, a lot of digs, posts, kind of put us on different levels to try to get us, you know, out of out of place and get good completions. Jordan and Garrett are both great quarterbacks and obviously Morgan is a beast. So I think it was just the dynamic receiving core that we have. Um, they weren't, their DBs weren't able to, to cover everyone at once, always leaving someone open. It was definitely more emotional than most coming off the big Wesleyan win last week. We were still a little hyped up from that, trying to play it off and it's going to be a lot more intense work on the little things probably you know it's it's a tough loss um, you never want to lose but at the same time I guess we'll try to learn from it it didn't come out next week and be doggy North Central now moves into a three-way tie for first place in the conference with the Thunder and Elmhurst College but with a win over Augustana next week and a Blue Jays win at Illinois Wesleyan the Cardinals still secure the automatic bid to the Division three playoffs a Cardinal loss or an Illinois Wesleyan win, and the Thunder would be awarded the automatic bid.